to start a new series using face mask on the camera and letting you know what I think about them. I filmed this look earlier so I'm going to go ahead and take off this makeup and then I'm going to do, I have like a little facial spa here. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to do a face mask. So I'm going to go ahead and get my makeup removed here. So the first thing I'm going to start off with to start removing is one of these uh, facial towelette things. Look so scary when they start taking their makeup off. I'm using um, my Garnia micellar water, and I just have it. I I put it in like a little pump bottle. Let's see if I'm getting this mascara. Right. I like to go around the edges with the micellar. Your hairline. Look at all that. This is a little bit more than what I normally do. Normally, I can like jump in the shower and I'll use coconut oil as my first makeup remover. And then I will cleanse. But since I'm not going to jump in the shower with you, <laughs> I'm doing it this way. So now I'm just putting on coconut oil. Just to break anything else down. So that's still how much was left on my face. So now we're going to go wash my face and then we're going to come back and do my facial steamer and then the mask. Alright, so we've got our face washed and I've got my steamer on here. I don't know if you can hear it. You can even see the steam. Probably not. But um, I'm going to go ahead and watch or listen to some Big Bang Theory while I do this. I'll probably do this for about 20 minutes. You gotta put a towel over your head too just to keep steaming. Alright, so I think I did that for about half an hour. Alright, I've got my um my fears witch hazel rose toner bottle here. So I'm going to spray that on my face. From what I understand, it's always best to use toner like right after you wash your face when your pores are open. So same thing with steaming your face. Pores are nice and open. looks a little dirty so I don't know if there's still residue from makeup or if that's from my tanner because I do put self tanner on my face. Alright now we're going to go in with our face mask. Okay so what I'm going to be using today is that, I don't know how to say this, Bosha and it's the Illuminizing Pink Mask and I have used this before but I'm going to use it on camera today and I really like this. I think it's a lot of fun. Just got like a little brush here that came off the stick so I like to use this for my mask. And this is one of those peel masks, I don't know if I said that. But And 
stay clear of your eyebrow hairs and your all little baby hairs because that hurts. All these peel masks hurt when they get in that. And then I usually don't take mine down my temple just because I don't really have a whole lot of room right there. Honestly, the thicker you can pull, I mean, don't do too thick, but the, you know, the better even layer that you can get and not too thin, the better it's going to come off, especially in one piece, which is a lot easier than picking little pieces out. It will take longer to dry, and I usually will just wait until it's, um, you know, just dry everywhere and not sticky anymore. Because sometimes, like around your cheeks, it'll take longer to dry, so I usually wait until that's completely dry before I start peeling it off. Just because I don't like having to pick little pieces off my face. So I'm gonna go watch some TV for a little bit and then we'll come back when it's time to take it off. Alright everybody, um, I think it's probably been over half an hour now. I know that it's completely dry, there's no like spots where my fingers are sticking. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off because it's like 2 in the morning. I get kinda tired, I'm ready to lay down and go to bed. So normally how I get these off is I'll stretch out the mouth first. And then it kind of starts a little spot for you. Normally 
I'll bring it back here too. And then I'll put that around. I see um, Clarisonic came out with a new attachment for your eyes. And then I watched Tati's video and now I like, have to have it. So that's going to get put on the wish list. I have been using that um, Bosha. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's like the hydration moisturizer. Put it real close and maybe you'll be able to pronounce it. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that. But I kind of actually like this stuff. If you don't use too much, it doesn't get too like thick. Kind of what looks like inside there. Let's just take some of that. Get some gel to moisturize my face. And then my last step is I'm just going to put on some chapstick because my lips are really kind of chapped. Alright, so that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. It's kind of late, but I don't have to get up early tomorrow. I've been enjoying this um, six week fitness challenge thing. And I like going in the mornings to work out at this gym because then there's not a lot of people there and classes aren't really full um, as opposed to like going later in the day. So I've been getting up really early, but tomorrow is my rest day, so I'm going to be sleeping in. So yes, it's 2 a.m. right now, probably past that. I don't have my phone in here, so I have no idea. But um, yeah, I'm going to lay down and fall asleep, probably watch. I don't know what I'll watch. Probably continue to watch um, Big Bang Theory, but we'll see. So, anyways, that is using this face mask. I definitely like it. I think it does a really good job. Um, it doesn't hurt too much when you peel it off, so that's always nice. Please comment down below if you've used this or if you're going to go pick it up. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos and future face mask videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you're having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye everybody.